This Davis Instruments Tech Tip video shows you how to upgrade from a Vantage Connect to an LTE EnviroMonitor. To do so, you need an EnviroMonitor Gateway LTE PCBA kit. Inside the box, you'll find a user's manual, the PCBA board to upgrade to, screws to attach the board to the gateway box, and some stickers to attach to the box. The tools you need to do the upgrade are a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a number three Phillips head screwdriver, and then something to pry the antenna off the inside of the gateway box. We'll use a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now we'll open up the gateway. Let's get started. To remove the Vantage Connect board, we're going to disconnect the power, remove the screws from the cover, remove the screws that hold the antenna onto the case, and then remove the final two screws that connect the board to the case. First I'll remove the power from the board, then I'll disconnect the battery. Then I'll remove the screws that connect the cover to the case, Remove the board, cover. Now I'll remove the screws that attach the antenna to the case. Now remove the two screws that attach the board to the case. These boards are connected together, but you can grab both of them and remove them all at the same time. To start, take your new LTE board, place it in the box. It should line up with several of the screw holes. The ones that you want to place in are here, here, and here. Screw them down snug, but not overly tight. You don't want to crack the board. Now place the new cover on the board. You want to make sure that the cellular antennas come out of the two holes on the side here. And that the other antenna comes out the hole on the side there. They should align up with two holes on the board. Again, screw these down so they're snug, but not too tight. Now, on the side of the cellular antennas, there's 3M tape. You remove the antenna, the tape from the antenna. Place one on the upper side of the box. Remove the tape from the other one. 
and tape the other one on this side of the box. You want them at a 90 degree angle from each other, not parallel. Now you take, there's two sticky points on this antenna. You remove the tape. and stick it to the side of the box. Now reattach the battery. And the power to the board. You should hear a click. We can see that the board is powering up. The new product comes with a set of stickers. For the inside of the box, apply the stickers to the front door. This sticker has the device ID on it. Remove the sticker, place it on the PCBA board cover, right there. Okay, now we are going to import the data from your old Vantage Connect to your new EnviroMonitor system. Start by logging in to weatherlink.com, then navigating to your drop down menu and selecting your new EnviroMonitor system that you've installed. Now make sure that the, system, the new system maps to the old system. So you have a gateway or a Vantage Connect, a weather station installed on it, and then the node with the extra sensors that you had. Here we have a temperature and humidity sensor. Now we're going to go to the wrench icon. Then up in the top, select import. Now we're going to just make sure that you are confirming the settings um, for the new device and selecting the old Vantage Connect station and then confirming that everything is correct to start the import. Here you're going to map and assign your data, so you want to make sure this maps correctly to what you previously had. Select the weather station, select the temperature sensor, and select the humidity sensor. Then select import to import the data. It may take a while for your data to upload depending on how much you have. This can take up to 24 hours. Once you are done, you select got it and your data will automatically import.